Hi friends, welcome back. Let's discuss the next question on static timing analysis. So friends, if you have gone through my previous question on static timing analysis, which was question number 14, where we were given this combinational logic with a range between 1 nanosecond to 2 nanosecond and the clock skew was not given in that particular question. So in this question, there is one extra clock skew which added and the delay of this skew is basically varying between 0.5 nanosecond to 1, to 1 nanosecond. So to do the setup and hold analysis in the previous questions, we saw that for the setup analysis, we have to take the max value of combinational logic delay and for hold analysis, we have to, we have to take the mean value for hold analysis. So this is what we discussed in our previous question. So in this particular question, now let's see how the clock skew, varying clock skew is going to affect the setup and hold analysis. So as we discussed in the previous questions, let's draw the waveform, clock waveforms for capture and for launch and capture flip-flop. So if this is our launch flip-flop clock edge, then if you see that in the capture flip-flop path, there is extra skew added so the clock will be getting shifted little bit right side so let's assume that this is the capture clock so here if you see we have this clock shifted right side by the amount of t skew which which, which can vary between 0 0.5 to 1 in a second so friends now how this skew is going to affect the setup analysis and which value of clock skew we should pick up for our setup analysis. So if the data is launched at this clock edge, it will be getting captured at this particular clock edge. So here, now let's see what is going to be our required time. So if you see the required time is nothing but the data should reach before the T setup time of the rising clock edge. So if this is our T setup time, then the data should reach at least at this point. So here if you see what is this value, this value here is nothing but T plus T skew minus T setup. Now, what is the value we should pick up for t skew? Either we should take the minimum value or we should take the max value of t skew. So now friends, if you see here, if we take the minimum value of t skew, which is, for example, this is corresponding to the minimum value. This, this uh, window is corresponding to the minimum value, which is 0 0.5. So if we take the minimum value of t skew then our required time will become t plus the t skew value is 0 0.5 minus the t setup and if with this required time if our setup constraint is passing that means if we increase this clock skew that means this rising edge is basically shifting right side and our required time is basically increasing and our setup slack is nothing but required time minus arrival time. So require if required time is increasing, that means our slack is increasing. So if with minimum required time, our slack is positive or we are meeting the setup timing constraint, that means with more value of required time or with more value of clock skew, our setup constraint is always going to be pass. That means we have to take the minimum clock skew value for setup analysis. So friends, this is just opposite to what we discussed in the previous question. So in the previous questions where we discussed which value of combinational delay we should take for setup analysis and there we end up with the maximum value. But here for combinational delay, we have to take the maximum value, but here for the clock skew, we end up with the minimum value of clock skew we have to take for setup analysis. Or in other words, 
for the setup analysis we have to take the maximum values for our launch path and the minimum value for our capture path whatever the variation in the values is given if the variation if 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 we are calculating the launch path delay we have to take the maximum value and if we are capturing if 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 we are calculating for the capture path we have to take the minimum values for setup analysis so hope this point is clear now let's see how this clock skew is going to affect cold analysis or which value of clock skew we should pick up for cold analysis either it should be minimum or maximum so if you see the hold analysis hold is done at the same clock edge so the data is launched at this clock edge hold analysis now will be done at this clock edge after the t skew time and here is the t hold window the, the value of t hold okay so if we take so now our required time will be t hold plus t skew correct so our required time will be t hold plus ka t skew and our arrival time will be t clock to q plus t combinational so for combinational values we have already discussed we have to take the minimum combinational value for the hold analysis now what value we should take for the t skew so if you see this is our required time t hold plus t skew if we take the maximum value of t skew if we take the maximum value of t skew and if with that value if our hold slack is positive that means for all the less values our hold slack is going to be positive because the hold slack is nothing but arrival time minus required time so for a maximum required time if our hold slack is positive that means if we reduce this required time our hold slack is going to be more positive so here you can see that for hold analysis we should take the maximum t skew value that is the worst case scenario if for maximum t skew value our hold analysis is fine there is no hold violation that means for all the minimum values our hold constant is going to be always pass so friend hope this point is clear so just to summarize for setup analysis we have to take the maximum value of combinational logic delay and the minimum value of clock skew in other words we have to take the maximum values in the in the launch path and we have to take the minimum values in the capture path and for hold analysis we have to take the minimum value in the combination in in the combinational logic delay path or the launch path and the maximum value in the capture path so hope this is clear so now let's see what is the slack so here the time period is given as 6 nanosecond so for setup and setup slack let's see setup slack it is required time minus arrival time so let's see what is the required time required time will become t plus t skew minus t setup so it will be 6 plus for setup analysis we have to take the minimum value of t skew minimum value is 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 minus t setup which is 1.2 minus arrival time will become t clock to q delay which is 2 nanosecond plus we have to take the maximum combination of logic delay which is 2 so if you solve this this equations that will be our minimum setup slack now let's see for hold slack so for hold slack which is arrival time minus required time so here the arrival time will be to t clock to q delay which is 2 nanosecond plus we have to take the minimum we have to take the minimum value of the arrival time which is 1 minus required time so our required time will be t hold plus t skew so t hold is 1.2 plus t skew so for t skew we have to take the maximum value which is 1 so it, it will become 3 minus 
2.2 is equal to 0.8 that will be our hold slab so friends hope this question is clear how should we take the impact of varying range clock skew and combinational logic delay while doing the setup and hold analysis is clear if you have any doubts please write down in the comment section also please do not forget to subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified as soon as i upload the next video thank you very much